Hey babes! Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Akusia Behini. If you're new, you're welcome. As you guys can see, as you can obviously see and tell by the title, today's video we're going to be doing a full face drugstore matte makeup look i feel like it's very long to say but i'm going to be doing my whole face using only drugstore products to achieve a matte makeup look so if this video is something that you're interested in if you want to see me do my makeup using very affordable products but also achieving this a gloriousness at the end of the day that you want to keep on watching you want to subscribe if you haven't already done that turn on the bell button so that you don't miss an upload because youtube really doesn't tell everybody when we put up videos you know so you want to turn on the bell button so you don't miss an upload and also please give me a huge thumbs up give us a huge thumbs up and oh did i say subscribe if i already said it that's fine but if i didn't say it, subscribe so you're part of the family and without further ado let's get right into the video <laughs> first things first obviously you have to make sure that your skin is prepped moisturize sunscreen your serums everything you need to make sure that they are done and like properly done obviously you guys can see so next i'm gonna go in with my primer and one primer that i have been loving or one primer that i would say that i reach for a lot when i want like a proper matte makeup look or when i want a matte makeup look on any day would definitely be the maybelline blair stick this is my go-to for for like a matte primer that doesn't dry you out or that doesn't dry you out almost immediately you know what i mean like this is a poreless primer so it, it it's much more for your pores rather than like just mattifying the whole face up so you if you guys can see in these areas of my face or in the areas that i've used the primer immediately you see that my oils have gone at bay but also i don't look like sucked up dry you know i don't look like dry 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 so that's the one thing that i think that i really appreciate about this primer for the fact that it really does a good job with covering your pores here and there but also doesn't make you like dry because in winter or in like this fall season ain't nobody want to be dry the weather in itself is drying you out so you don't want to be dry so you want to make sure that you have a little bit of hydration here and there or you want to make sure that you're using products that it's not so drying or better still you're balancing it out you have to find a way to balance your makeup for this winter season so that's literally it i'm like i mean when i came to stay here before you saw the oils and now you don't see the oils but you also see that i'm not so dry so that is good next will be to set my primer and if you've been here for a while obviously you know that i I never really do that like I've hardly ever set my primer because I like for my makeup to look dewy I like for myself or my skin to look glowy after a good makeup look you know but if you want to have makeup that last a way longer because the truth of the matter is my oils will be coming through in like five hours to six hours time but when you do this kind of step obviously you guys have seen this step in a lot of places or in a lot of videos but when you do this particular step you help save yourself a long day of makeup and also it keeps your products right there yesterday i should have done a wet test for you guys yesterday i tried this whole process and it was good like i was actually shook because like i hear people talk about it but i never really tried it because i felt like it was too much like putting powder on and like oh isn't that too much you know but it's not <laughs> it actually works perfectly it works perfect so you may you need to make sure that you're using a translucent powder because this is what is going to make sure that um your foundation doesn't your foundation coverage doesn't affect the powder coverage or the powder coverage doesn't affect your foundation coverage you feel like um i mean if you use a powder that has a tint of color to it will be very difficult for you because then your foundation will your foundation's color will just add up to the powder's color giving you different color at the end of the day or giving you a different shade at the end of the days now i'm gonna go in with my foundation and the mask foundation from drugstore that i have been loving obviously is nyx you guys should know by now nyx and maybelline are like my two go 
or go to for when it comes to drugstore products i do have to try other drugstore brands i can't stay and act like they're the only brands in the drugstore stores but the nyx can't stop won't stop is my absolute fave when it comes to um what's it called drugstore matte foundation this foundation is matte in my opinion if anybody tells you that this foundation is not matte i don't know because it makes me matte now this one right here is in the shade warm walnut which is a perfect shade i mean it's a good shade except for the fact that it has a red undertone but that's not bad i honestly don't get mad when my foundations have a red undertone because usually my concealers will do a great job <laughs> of fixing it i'm gonna use this brush from sonia cashrook very steady foundation brush and usually this is what i do when i'm wearing hoops flip it around my ear so that i have the chance to just work 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 i didn't think i was gonna sing trust me <laughs> and then also you want to make sure that you're dragging your foundation down to your neck just so that you don't have any hash lines that's the reason if you've always been wondering because <laughs> no matter how much a foundation looks like your shade or looks like your skin baby the area around this place is way darker <laughs> you don't know how you don't know why but it is next will be my concealer and for concealer i'm gonna use the elf this is the elf 16 hour camo concealer in the shade rich no deep cinnamon i was gonna say rich ebony but this is deep cinnamon and let me just let you guys know that if you want a full coverage drugstore foundation that would give you a matte look beautiful matte look is this one so if you want a concealer that is gonna dry the hell out on you if you don't blend quick this is the concealer this is the concealer if you want to be angry this is the concealer i love her so much i love her coverage i love um i love elf i just love elf concealers in general i just don't like how fast they dry down so i am um what's it called i'm gonna just do my under eye because if i go ahead to do all the other areas it's gonna dry down on me really quick so just my under eye and then i'll go ahead and do the other areas that i have to do and um, i'm gonna use this beauty blender i haven't used it in a while so if it doesn't go well it's not me it's the beauty blender but it will go well and you guys already know my concealer blending trick that's i use the concealer as like a form of like nose contour or whatever like that's i just bring it in the corners of my nose like that and then i just follow i just follow that pattern when i have to contour my nose because it makes it very easy for me though but look at look at look at look at the coverage what else could you ask for now the trick to making this concealer work for you is you have to make sure that your beauty blender is dumb if you come here with a dry blender this girl will just slap you this beauty this concealer will just make you feel stupid i'm not even gonna joke about that i'm sorry so make sure that you're always using a dumb beauty blender because mm, you don't want to do that you don't want to put yourself through the stress okay you don't want to do that buddy so next for me will be to do my contour contour <laughs> contour so i'm gonna go ahead and use elf again but this is in, in the shade rich ebony what i was gonna say before this is just like a much darker shade but not dark 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 so that's why i love this <clears throat> i'm sorry i love this contour shade because it's absolutely so warm but you still see that it shows it's very subtle but it's there <laughs> that's what i like I like for you to see okay now we're gonna do our nose contour and for my nose contour I'm taking a much more flat tap brush or a much more tapered brush if I could say and this brush is actually from elf and then they say that it's for sculpting so that's perfect from the way it's been shaped you do see that 
it really is for sculpting and for my nose contour i'm taking off the excess product at the back of my hand like that and then starting from the beginning of my brow i'm just gonna keep following the line now after i'm gonna take the same beauty blender that i used and then tap 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 gentle taps whoever is working and thinks that it's okay to work today i hate you oh, i love how it is matte like you do see that it's matte but you also do see that it's not so dry like you see that this is a healthy matte <laughs> next will be to set your concealer right away right away you are not going to wait for a second <laughs> i'm using the s bond loose face powder i forgot to show it but i i mean you guys have seen it so many times but yeah i want to make sure that i'm setting the concealer right away not baking setting it this will help the concealer stay there last way longer even if it's not a matte makeup look oh you're calling me let me drink <laughs> oh that's good <laughs> even if you're not doing a matte makeup look and you're just doing like a look and you still want your concealer to last way longer set it immediately i have even delayed set it immediately before like anything else a little reverse contour for the girls okay this is base oh now i'm gonna go ahead <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and probably do my eye look off camera i really wanted this to be about like the base and how you can get a healthy looking base matte makeup looking base with drugstore products so i'm gonna do my eye my brows all of that yada yada and come back and then we're gonna finish up the rest of the face with the blush and the highlighter and yeah give me one second okay so this is i did the eye look did my brows did my eye look i'm definitely in love with this eye look oh giving me pink and purple vibes i really wanted to do something for um october because it's like breast cancer awareness month or whatever and it's usually pink and i wish that my pink was a lot more popping pink but it's okay mm -hmm. so just just for like the fun of it and not honestly just for the fun of it i'm just going to set my face again under my eye area and in just a few places just so that those areas are like bright and well held up <laughs> because why not this is just an extra step so i'm gonna go in with my maybelline fit me powder this is in the shade three three thirty five thirty five and i'm gonna use the same beauty blender i'll keep this right here Ooh, I like it. Except that you guys didn't get to see my eye area, but this is proper full face. And for my eye area, I also use the BH Cosmetics um, Take Me to Brazil palette, which is not drugstore if I if i say so myself i think it's not drugstore but next will be to use some blush while i still have this powder on i'm gonna go ahead and just use some blush and literally the same baby girl that we've been using for a while it's the nika k new york blush i am gonna use the orange i feel like i don't have to say it anymore because you guys already know by now but just yeah Mm. Giving me life. Mm. Mm. Oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> then I take it around the perimeters of my face for warmth. It works like a charm. It just works. Oh, give me blush. Do you? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's literally like, oh. And because it's orange, 
when you take it around the perimeters of your face i say this every day like would you guys just try an orange blush comment below just so that my mind can be free like till i know that one of you have tried an orange blush and just gets what i'm talking about i won't stop talking about it because if you don't like oh, it's too good like mm. Okay, next will be to use a highlighter and the highlighter that I love from drugstore obviously is the Wet n Wild Color Con Bronzer but I broke it and I haven't fixed it and I have no intentions of fixing it. I don't even feel bad for saying that like I just think I, I think I just need alcohol to fix it but I don't know. So we're just gonna reach for Odi but a goodie. This is the Milani Baked bronzer oh, this is the baked powder blush in berry and more it's a powder blush but obviously it has like tints of highlights to it so that's what it is oh 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 <laughs> give me subtle highlight and i'm gonna pay your bills oh <laughs> like I'll, i'm crying and i'm laughing at the same time because girl girl who am i that's a beautiful work beautiful job so see that extra powder that i put there didn't do nothing it just gave my under eye more brightness it brought my under eyes back to life usually when you've been through like a, a day's activity and you feel like your makeup is looking a little funny in a certain areas here and there just use powder you can use a brush tap it in the powder tap off the excess tap 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 and you're good you're honestly gonna be good <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and set the whole face or the rest of my face with my maybelline powder as usual and this is also going to um take off any translucent powdery look that i have there so any powder that is sitting somewhere refusing to go or forgetting that it's time to go they're gonna go now <laughs> this maybelline powder is gonna make it go now and also this is going to blend everything in and make sure that they all come to a family house live together in one family house drag it down to your neck drag it down to your neck to your neck hey 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 help <laughs> stop wait a minute drag it down to your neck because it's important <laughs> it looks like proper matted up but it doesn't look dry like it looks like hi yeah i have makeup that can last a whole day you want to go out <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay 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 that's exciting for me don't fall down don't be a disgrace about your hometown okay be there next i'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my setting spray this is maybelline lasting fix this is particularly a matte finish kind of setting spray so this is not a setting spray that says it's matte but it's not matte this actually does hold up for a long time this setting spray is good literally everybody's talking about it but also sometimes people just talk about things for talking about sake but this works <laughs> this really does work so just so you know oh my god tell me that you don't like how the makeup is looking tell me that you don't like how everything has come together tell me how i don't know um i'm using the milani a more matte lip cream this one is in the shade obsession this one that i'm using is the l'oreal infallible pro matte lipstick the shade nudist this is also one of my favorite nude matte lipstick lines from l'oreal they are they are very good 
they don't dry down quick you're able to work your way around it the reason why i never really was able to do or like matte lipsticks as much was because i never was able to work my way around it like it was always so difficult to work with but these two ones that i showed you any ones from these brands are good maybelline also has their lip lacquer that i love <laughs> It's not even the lip lacquer, it's the ink crayon. These ones, all oh my days. Like, it's just a twist up. Very easy to use. You can just pop this into your purse. Like, oh my god. And the shades are also beautiful. So, yeah, this is literally what the finished look turned out to be. Yo, yo, yo. I really like my eye look and my lip look. I mean, I like the whole look, but I like how the eye and the lip are going like really well with each other. I had no plans of doing this lip and all, and I see, I didn't even think a combo of that pink and that nude was going to give me this. Because I really wanted a lip color that was going to match my eye look, but also that wasn't going to be too much, you know. But this time around, my eye look is still there. Like you still see that I have an eye look, but you also see my lip. Which is a lip on its own you know so yeah so basically guys these are all products that i'll use and these are all like my steps that i'll go through or that i'll do for when i'm doing my matte makeup look this is definitely a tutorial much more for oilier skin people or for oily skin people if you're you have oily skin and you want your oils to stay at bay for a long time you want your makeup to hold up for a pretty long time Definitely try everything that I've showed you here. If you're also a drugstore girl, then definitely also purchase all these products. You guys know that I have an Amazon storefront. So with just one link, you're able to purchase everything that I use in my videos, in my vlogs, and everything like that. So, yeah. This is legit how it looks like. And I am impressed. I'm happy. I'm happy with how really dry it still looks. But it doesn't feel dry like my skin is sucked up. But on camera though, I know that I see that this is matte makeup, you know, like matte. See? If I did dewy, trust me, if I did a dewy makeup look, I won't be able to do this because, yo, <laughs> this is matted up. <laughs> you know, like this is real matted up, see? So yeah, I'm gonna go away now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it. Also comment down below if you want me to do a lot more beginner friendly videos like this. If you guys enjoy me talking through my makeup videos and everything, let me know. Leave us a good comment. Share this with anyone who wants to see. Save this video for a rainy day because for the day when the guy wants to take you out for a 16 hour day, <laughs> you need a makeup that's gonna hold up for a long time. You need products that you know that you know what? Y'all are not so expensive, but I can rely on you, okay? That's all you need to do. So, yeah, I'm going to go away now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys for always coming back. Thank you. Mwah. Bye.